This is a story about the stories that jump from the pages of comic books and graphic novels. The characters are becoming more and more diverse and real. That's something to celebrate at any one comics in Brooklyn. Everybody's looking for a sense of belonging. They want to see stories reflecting themselves. Jamal Igle was a fan of Superman first. Now he creates comics and helps pave the way for the next generation. It's great for kids, I think, to be able to see that there are people who look like them. It's not just superheroes, it's, it's true life, it's, it's, it's just action and true life. Some writers and editors and the owner of Anyone Comics are putting on the first black comic book fair at the store Saturday. Meet the artists, hear their stories. I would become the first editor of color on the Batman line for DC Entertainment. So that's really where my career launched and it was very important for me to open doors for talented creators of color. Joseph Village has been in the business 30 years. They've also created and published the first access guide to the black comic book community. This is something that I wish was around when I was a kid, that more people, more laypersons would be able to find out about all the different black creators. Anyone Comics has been in this Crown Heights neighborhood on Union at Nostrand for going on five years. Last year with the pandemic was rough, but they made it through. There are a lot of good stories inside. The people in the community can see that there's comic book uh, creators like them here, you know. The people and the pages offer inspiration. No limit when imagination is the driving force. In Crown Heights, Greg Mocker, Pix11 News.